Yeah, so welcome everybody to this press conference after the match between Chelsea and Malmö FF. We have our, our head coach, Jundal Thomasson, ready to answer your questions. Who wants to start? I will put you on the list. They will raise their hands when they're ready, I suppose. One up there. Yep. So, uh, Mark. Hi, it's uh, Mark from Sky Sports. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, perfect. Thanks for your time. Could I just have your assessment on the game and your side's performance tonight? Yeah, before the game, we believe, of course, in a, in a better result. But playing against one of the best team in the world uh, and seeing the game and experience the game, uh, yeah, we have to say that Chelsea is ex extremely good. Um, and it's a tough game. Especially, you know, those big clubs regarding uh, smaller clubs, yeah, the gap are getting bigger and bigger. And of course, the, the, the level is, is, is different. So it's a tough night. Uh, hopefully, we will learn from that. Other questions to you, Noel Thomasson? Please raise your hands if you're Fredrik Lindstrand. Hi, uh, Jon. You took uh, Johan Dalin off uh, at half time. What's his status? Um, he should be fine. Uh, he should be fine. Uh, hopefully, he's fine. Uh, that's the first re report I got uh, after the game. And there are changes, of course, uh, changes regarding uh, Sunday's game uh, in the league as well. Anybody else? Fredrik? Yeah. Fredrik Hed, Himmelriket. Okay, hello, uh, Jon. Hello. Uh, I asked you yesterday what you would like to see from, from your team. Uh, did you see that from your team today? Like, are you satisfied with your team's performance? Of, co of course, when you lose, it always hurts. But I saw a, a team fighting to the end against the champions of the Champions League. Of course, uh, uh, a level which is very high, but being 4-0 down, playing away in London and, and still trying to do the best and fighting for each other and helping each other, that's what team spirit is about. And then it's true, there's a difference, of course, th what I spoke about, that gap, last five, seven years, the gap between the top clubs in, in Europe and, and what smaller clubs is, is, yeah, is extremely, and they're getting bigger as well. Thank you, Jon. You're welcome. Any more questions to Jon? Daniel. Hi, Jon. Uh, what positive do you take with you from the game, and how will you bounce back uh, for the Alsvenskan game on Sunday? Uh, first of all, uh, you know, the intensity that Chelsea plays with, we're not used to that. The decision making uh, on the ball, without the ball, things happen really quickly. And there's something we, 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 of course, it's difficult, something we need to cope with uh, uh, on this level, and we're not used to that. So hopefully we can take, take that speed um, into the game on Sunday. I think uh, playing a Champions League game tonight. Yeah, there's a reason why we played the Champions League games tonight. It's because we won the league last season and we want, the, we want to win the league as well this season. So there should be plenty of motivation for the Sunday's game and the upcoming games in the, in the league. Because we want to do well in Europe and you need to win the, the league to have a chance to play all those group games, all those games to come through to the Champions League. This year we played four, four games, totally eight games to come to the Champions League, which is an incredible achievement of this team. Fredrik Lindstrand, uh, did you have another question? Yeah, I'm here now. Uh, can you say anything about Sergio Pena's performance tonight? Were you satisfied? As you can see, Sergio is a good player. 
He's a very good player and of course uh, he's going to be important in the future. Uh, of course you can also see that he's not totally, uh, totally fit regarding uh, fitness level. He haven't played that many games. He haven't trained that much, uh, but I, well, I'm satisfied with his, with his performance. Is a is a player who will make Malmo better in the future for sure. And uh, going after the third place, uh, what can you say about your chance? Uh, Senate uh, lost as well. Yeah, we are, as I said at the beginning, for like we are playing against three extremely good teams. Um, I spoke about the, the bigger team in Europe. The gap is getting bigger and bigger in the last years. But we will always go for the dream. Uh, and the first dream was to go to the Champions League. We achieved that. And now, of course, it could, there's a bit of a fairy tale playing the Champions League. But we would, we would try to do our best to, to get that third spot and do it with ambition. But it's, of course, very good clubs we are playing against. Jonathan, uh, your time. Uh, just to clarify, was it an injury on Dalin? That's why he didn't play the, uh, the second half. No, he was a bit sore, but uh, I think he, um, I think he made the right decision. So he, he should hopefully be be well for the weekend. Thanks. Welcome. Everybody satisfied? Or Daniel, do you have another question? I guess you answered no. Okay. Yep. Thank you, everybody, for this press conference. Okay. Yeah.